Well, first off, I guess I need to apologize for not videotaping what took place here yesterday. You know, a few days ago I posted a video about cleaning the sprinkler heads on your water treatment system. The flow had diminished to almost nothing. And then, you know, I assume since the the filters on the uh, filter on one of the head, the farthest head away was pretty clogged up and the other two were somewhat clogged up that that was my problem. But I couldn't verify it because I couldn't get my pump on. Well, when I... When I pulled the lid off of this tank, which is the, the quote unquote clear tank, you know, it's supposed to just basically have water in it. Um, realized pretty quick that my problem wasn't the sprinkler head. My problem was that everything was full. And I called my septic tank cleaning guy and, and he said he'd, you know, be right out. Um, he, he didn't have room in his tank to help me the day that I had the problem, but he did show me, he told me, Hey, I'll come out and I'll clean all three of the tanks. And I said, well, you know, what do you mean three? So I've only got two. He said, no, there's another one. There's a, there's a, another cover buried probably 18 inches down right here. And he took a, uh, a spade, a shovel and laid it down. He said, it's a shovel length back and just slightly off to the right. And we put this uh, rebar down in the ground. I said, I will dig the hole so that it's ready for you when you get out here. And I dug down. Sure enough, it's probably 18 inches down. And uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a concrete cap, probably 14, 16 inches in diameter right there just just in line with that pretty much right there probably four feet away from that aerator tank <clears throat> well when he told me about that now I said well if, if you're telling me there's another tank over here that has to be cleaned then I can tell you that this system has never been properly cleaned my wife said we had the tanks emptied a couple of years ago. I don't remember it, but I would remember having to dig that hole and, you know, having a, a, a low spot there. That's never been done. So this is eight years worth of accumulation we had in this tank. And, buddy, when I tell you it was full, when he finally got the cap off of that thing, the material was above the inlet pipe we we really honestly we didn't have a day to go we wouldn't have made it one more day so this tank was full this tank was full and this tank had about three and a half uh, feet of sludge in the bottom of it and it had made it the sludge had made it all the way to the to the end uh, to the uh, pump where the where the pump couldn't pump water anymore it was all sludged up so I shut the electricity off to the pump to keep from burning it up and uh, we ended up having to this is why I really I really wish I had some video of this not so much of the pumping action that's pretty it's, there's nothing we as homeowners can really do for that you have to get a vacuum truck to get that stuff out but at least now you know there is a there is a third tank on this Cajun air type system, aerobic system. There's three tanks. One's buried, two and three. But the kicker was when we got everything cleaned up and uh, put the uh, I put the I had taken the pump out and I, we put the pump back in there and we couldn't get it to pump water, so we took it out put some water in this bucket and couldn't even get it to pump fresh water so we had to take the pump motor off of the impeller and dig with a pick a small pick we had to dig hair out of the impeller shaft for for 15 minutes and when i did that 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 
made that pump work again. The pump worked. It was the impellers that was a problem. There was so much hair in there that the impellers couldn't pick up the water. So what we've got now, the uh, aerator is under there alarming because it's not feeling any resistance. There's not enough water in there yet uh, to give the aerator resistance. So it thinks there's a problem. And that alarm should go off when the water level uh, comes, when the water comes in here and fills this up to a certain level, it'll pour into this tank. And then that will come up to a certain level and then that alarm will shut up. Then when that level comes up so high, it'll pour into this, this affluent tank. And then once that uh, float switch is activated, it, the pump will cut on and push the water out to these three sprinkler heads. And all should be well in our little, our little slice of heaven over here again. And uh, like I said, it's been eight years since it's been done properly. And with a family of three or four in the size of this tank, our guy says we should probably have that done every two to three years. But now we know how to monitor it. We can just look in this tank under the aerator and take a boat paddle or a rake or something and push down in there and see if we start to fill uh, the solids up real high. And then it's time to call in the reinforcements and get the vacuum truck out here to fix us but before we don't have a, a septic system working. I hope it helped. Thanks for watching.